brought to you by Almond Auctions, the worldwide leader in antique tractor auctions. With the release of the Model D, the Moline Plow Company tried to expand into specialty markets. Two of these variations were represented at the show, an orchard model and a Model E, or road tractor. We spoke with Lauren Book about these two variations. Lauren's father was a Minneapolis Moline dealer in Nevada, Iowa in the 1950s. Lauren's passion for Molines starts back in his youth, when he and his brother farmed with a Minneapolis Moline Model UB. That tractor, along with a few other Minneapolis Molines and five Moline Universal tractors, reside in Lauren's private collection. One of Lauren's five Universals is the Rare Orchard model. Well, the Orchard tractor is a Model D tractor with some modifications. Uh, since it is an Orchard tractor, they uh, uh, put a smaller drive wheel on it so it'll be lower to the ground. They also put a uh, radiator that was lower so that they could get under the uh, branches uh, in the orchard. Uh, but other than that, the same implements will fit on the orchard tractor. Uh, you don't have as much clearance going through maybe cultivating corn, but uh, all the implements that will go under the normal D will go in the uh, orchard D. Uh, we know of three that are actually together and, and can go to the field or, or whatever. Uh, we've got several others that are not uh, operable and they need work. Uh, one of them is even setting, setting on a pallet, uh, but it is a universal uh, de orchard. Uh, so, total numbers perhaps five. There was a gentleman who has ties with Purdue University and he had this road tractor and everybody was very, uh, you know, what is the road tractor? It's, it's basically what Moline are called a Model E, D-E. And the difference there is it's got a uh, lower radiator, just like the orchard. Uh, the uh, wheels are cast iron as opposed to spokes and cement like, like are in the D. Uh, other than that, the, the actual uh, engine and so on is, is identical to the, uh, to the D. Now, what made it a road tractor, we do have some literature that shows it, but we have not seen one. Uh, we'll show a scraper, we'll show a grater. Uh, and it's kind of a massive uh, unit when you uh, look at the photos. Also, the, the E had a, uh, had a hood that came back from the uh, uh, radiator to the gas tanks. So it ga that gave it a different look. Well, when they made the road tractor, they were getting close to uh, the end of the run, so to speak. Uh, Moline ran into, because of the economy, farm economy and so on, uh, and their design, other tractors were coming on, becoming more popular, and they, 1924, by 1924, they had to stop production. A number of factors led to the end of the Moline Universal. These factors included downturn in the farming economy, and the motor cultivator concept being outdone by new row prop tractors like the International Harvester Farmall. The last Moline Universal came off the production line in 1923. The loss of the Universal didn't put Moline out of the tractor business long. In 1929, the Moline Plow Company joined with Minneapolis Steel and Machinery Company and the Minneapolis Threshing Machine Company to form the Minneapolis Moline Company. But the legacy of the Moline Universal lives on. These tractors' unique design and limited production will continue to make them a prized piece for collectors for many years to come. 
They remain a link between the large steam and gasoline tractors that broke the plains and the modern row crop tractor.